Okay, let's begin. What we're going to do here is do a very simple capture of uh, uh, Safari. It's going to be my uh, sample application of choice. I know that I want to put the result into iMovie, um, so that will influence my preset. We're going to um, set up a new preset and I'll show you and I'm going to show you how I'd go about uh, creating a screencast uh, using both I show you, QuickTime Pro and iMovie. Okay, so I've just created a new preset. I did that by clicking the plus button down here. I'll call this uh, my tutorial, no, let's call it something uh, application recording. Move on. Now, um, I have an external in out box, which is an Interroll UA25, so I'll use that. I'd like some medium quality audio, please. Low quality tends to sound a little bit underwater, so I think I'll uh, just have medium. Force mono, and if Safari does decide to make any noise, then yes, I'd like that to be recorded too. Uh, that's done for the audio side. Oh, not quite. Let's just reduce that so that if it does make any noise, it won't overpower my uh, my my speech. Now an application that doesn't do much, such as Safari, in terms of visually, right, it's not a game, it doesn't have a lot of action going on, uh, you don't really need a huge frame rate. So let's cut that down to, in fact, I'll go for 10. Okay. Um, I want a very clear picture, so I'm going to choose a full animation. Right. And Apple Animation is excellent, it's uh, very, probably the clearest codec to use. It generates a, a pretty big file, but because we're importing into iMovie, um, that doesn't really matter. We'll cover that in another, another section. I think we're very close to being done. We don't want to follow the mouse cursor. That would be quite distracting. We want it a, a static movie. And we're not interested in seeing the capture guides. Right, so let's check out the recording area. Hmm, not quite right. Let's fix that. So I'm going to just drag this recording area up to the top left here and drag a section down here and it'll do. Done. Okay. Right, let's do the demonstration. Simple enough, just hit record and start speaking. Alright, welcome to my super simple Safari pre, uh, Safari Safari tutorial. Go to a website by entering the address. Marvellous and click around to your heart's content. All right, uh, let's finish that. I'll make that my um, my tutorial. Shortest Safari tutorial known to man. So we're done. All right, welcome to my super simple Safari, uh, Safari, Safari tutorial. Go to a website, but stop that. I'll just make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so we're done. We've recorded it. We've now got our basic um, screencast itself actually done. Yours I hope will be a bit longer than mine, but that's cool. Okay, the next section is going to cover um, getting it into iMovie uh, and uh, the fun associated with that. Alright, let's see how to get this thing into iMovie. So with iMovie loaded, uh, let me find that. Okay, uh, here's one I've actually just prepared earlier. We're going to use this as a template, but I'll get rid of that for now. So we need to make a new project. So I shall make one called Safari Demo 2, and I'm going to use HD 720p. Uh, that's big enough for uh, what I want, and if I need it smaller, I can always scale it down. Create. Okay, let's move that over here and make it a little bit smaller. Perfect. Okay, now the clip that we created previously is here, just on the desktop. Drag that in. And what we're going to do is create a fairly simple movie. It's just going to have a black background, so some simple credits, a bit of an intro tune, um, some background music, and uh, a fading out title. Of course, if um, just you could add you know, a picture of yourself doing the intro, I don't have an iSide hooked up to this particular computer at the moment, um, but that would be another way to uh, personalize it and customize the video a little bit. Okay, so with the, um, with the basic uh, 
application or, or demo of the application there let's let's go about building it so let's have a look at the uh, the uh, the one I'd prepared earlier and just see what our end result is going to look like okay let's just play this Welcome to my super simple Safari Pre uh, Safari Safari tutorial. Go to a website, buy a new address. Marvelous. And click around to your heart's content. Alright. Uh, let's finish that, I'll make that my um, my tutorial. Shortest Safari tutorial known to the world. Okay, so there you get an idea of um, what what we're aiming for. So we'll move that away. Okay. Just get that ready. All right. So let's uh, just put down the introduction and, and other video effects, sort of video tracks that we want. So we'll drag this down here, get our main video clip. And if we go to uh, edit, uh, sorry, themes, and pull this down and have a look at Reflection Black, choose credits number two and type in something a little bit more interesting than title one Strations Safari in 45 seconds flat let's choose something a little bit different okay and we move our marker here to the beginning and I hope when I click add it actually adds it to the beginning with any luck no it adds it to the end of course we'll shift that in a moment we don't need the drop zones, so I'll get rid of those. Okay, while that's while that's rendering, we also want a um, a fade out of the credits. It's the bit that I had at the beginning saying you know, it's faster than you've ever seen before. So again, uh, let's zip over to editing, and for center title, we have Safari faster than ever thought possible. Um, I thought if I was going to do a uh, rather unexciting uh, uh, example of Safari that I could at least have a little bit of fun with my editing. So I'm going to add one of those and I've made it about four seconds long. Um, right, let's add that in. Go. Okay. So that's rendering again. This is our bit that, rather than being a credit, I'm actually going to use as an introduction. I want that one there. And my end piece is here. So that's the, the basic stuff. There's no transitions in there at the moment. Um, let's now add some audio. Right, so under media, now I happen to have iLife installed, which gives me a few extra things. Uh, in terms of audio that, that your standard iMovie doesn't have. And I'm trying to recall what I actually chose as the... Uh, I think it was that one. We'll do that one. Windy City Short. Sounds good enough to me. So we drag that at the beginning here. Like so. Now the audio for that's too long for the actual uh, introduction title so what I've chosen to do is simply split this to here and I know that I want some uh, just sort of lazy background music for the actual demonstration itself so jazz down tempo seems fine drag that down to the beginning Okay, let's zoom uh, that out there. All right, and let's just check how that looks. Right, welcome. It's getting there, but the transitions are basically a little bit too, how would you say, sharp. So what I need to do on the audio side is 
bring the audio in gradually, which is what I'm doing here. So splitting there, having the beginning at a zero volume, and bringing the volume of the track up gradually. And I should do the same here. The one difference that I'm actually, if I can make this thing work, the one difference that I will make, a uh, change that I will make on the main audio track here is to bring the volume right down, pretty much as low as I can, uh, so that it's not too overwhelming. If someone's demonstrating something, it can be quite nice to have something and some music in the background, but you don't want that um, taking over the whole video. All right, that should be a little bit more pleasing to the ear. Welcome to my super simple. Good, getting that. Okay, let's fix up this uh, end piece. So when it ends, this ends straight away. So I prefer a bit of a transition there. And if I go to editing and transitions, I can just have a fade out, put on the end of the video. The end, the title that I've chosen at the end, the centered uh, text has a bit of a fade in anyway so I won't put anything on that and I'll leave the music running right through but I'll fade that out just until the end so I'll probably chop that here so I'm going to click on the music track and split it and then I shall delete that section and we'll grab the audio just make sure that's zero at the end so that will gradually fade out and that is pretty much it so let's just take a look all right welcome to my super simple safari pre uh, safari safari tutorial go to a website by the address marvelous and click around to your heart's content all right Let's finish that. I'll make that my um, my tutorial, shortest Safari tutorial known to me. Okay. Now clearly, my actual tutorial video itself doesn't really teach anyone anything they don't already know. Hey, but that's for you to do. So there you go. There's the basic uh, get everything into iMovie. The next section will discuss. Um, compression options essentially so once you've got your final cut done uh, what are we going to do with it and how are we going to make it small enough on uh, to fit on the web and uh, also of a high enough quality such that people looking at it can actually see what's happening on the screen Okay, so we have our uh, masterpiece ready. Uh, let's export it for the web. Um, personally, I choose to use the uh, H.264 uh, encoder. It seems to give the smallest file, but it's really up to you. I mean, if you're if you're publishing to a web and you know that everyone's got mega high bandwidth, then 16-bit um, Apple animation can be pretty good as well. Uh, but let's go with the H.264 option for the moment. So if you go to um, share and choose the share option uh, now also I'm not using a dot Mac account here okay so I'm pretty much just going to do a custom export um, and pr just set the settings myself so I'm going to choose QuickTime I'm going to say expert settings and click share so we get a uh, standard dialog box up let's um, just rename this and call it uh, web I just add web onto the end and choose some options so we want for settings h264 is selected I'm gonna say that my final frame rate I want to be 15 frames a second that should be fine for, for the uh, movie that I've created automatic keyframing with frame reordering on I'm not going to restrict the data rate to anything so I'll leave that as automatic and it's going on the web. Um, I'm going to put sort of somewhere between halfway between medium and high, and best quality multi-pass encoding. This takes uh, quite a bit longer to encode, but does give you a smaller file. And for me, wanting to save people's bandwidth, uh, that's important. Okay, so here we see a summary of those. 
size wise now this is where it can get a little bit tricky because we I've recorded it reasonably big but I want people to actually see it so I'm going to go for an SD size and just see how that looks what that looks like I'm going to preserve the aspect ratio uh, and letterbox it sound I'll have compressed sound which is AAC 32 hertz is fine stereo 96 kilobits it's mostly voice so that's a reasonable setting and I'll leave fast start compressed enabled uh, that will allow when I put put the movie onto the web um, it'll start playing immediately rather than someone having to download the whole thing All right so let's try this save that and say save and away it goes okay that's done let's go take a look at the result Sorry, stop that. Okay, here it is. This is at 100% size. Now, the movie that I'm actually going to put this in to show you <laughs> is going to be compressed itself, so you're not going to see the full quality here. Um, it's it's not 100% brilliant. Now, you'll you'll notice that there's a little bit of aberration that the gradient here isn't perfectly smooth. But for what I do when I'm when I'm demonstrating software, um, it's actually not that big a deal for me. But if you want high quality, you'll either need to bump up the uh, settings for the H.264 codec. It's just bump up the uh, quality setting um, or use a different one. But hey, look at this. So as you can see, we've got our web demo ready. And the important bit for me, it's 800k long. Pretty small. Pretty cool. So I might actually have the option there of, uh, if it's only 800k, re-exporting from my movie um, with 720p directly. We can give a bigger file, but it'll be clearer. So for some people that'll be a good thing. So let's just take a brief look at our masterpiece. Alright, welcome to my super simple Safari pre, uh, Safari Safari tutorial. Go to a website by the new address. Marvelous. And click around to your heart's content. Alright. Uh, let's finish that. I'll make that my um, my tutorial. Shortest Safari tutorial known to me. Okay, that's it. So basically in summary, I hope I've shown how you can uh, use I show you to capture an application and settings that are useful to you there. A very brief um, overview of iMovie and uh, getting a, a simple screencast video done and uh, just showing the final result and how you compress it. So hopefully that's been useful. Remember that you can visit uh, forums.shinywhitebox.com if you have any questions. And uh, also there are additional tutorials up on shinywhitebox.com as well, which cover things such as uh, how do you record a game, something where you want to get a really high frame rate so that you can see the action, uh, and also a couple of tips and tricks in recording. Hope you've enjoyed it. See ya. Thank you.